Well, good morning, guys. Today, I'm actually working on something that isn't quite PC hardware. Hey, Modi. Uh, this is a 2010 MacBook Pro 15-inch. Uh, starting in about 2006, Apple and a bunch of other companies started putting in dual GPUs in laptops. So, integrated graphics and then a dedicated GPU. So, this machine has an Intel HD graphics, something or other. And it also has an NVIDIA GeForce GT330M. So right now it is booted on the Intel graphics and it's working just fine. However, this has the typical issue where the, uh, the board has heat cycled so many times and the solder joint is so poor on the GPU that it intermittently will cut out and cause a kernel panic. So right now what I'm gonna do is run a stress test on the dedicated GPU and you will see it switch over to the NVIDIA and the screen will go black <laughs> and we will get a kernel panic. Um, so as this is happening, I'll walk you through the process of what I intend to do about it. This computer cost me $100 just to have fun with, so it's not a big deal if I ruin it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the computer. We're gonna take it completely down to the motherboard or logic board. We're gonna take that out and uh, we're actually gonna throw it in the oven. This is a pretty old trick. And it works sometimes. Um, there's a few issues with uh, the posts I've seen online on these, uh, on the process of actually doing that. So you can see here, it just KP'd straight away when we tried to switch over to the graphics. Eventually it will boot back into Mac OS, but she's boogered. So what we're gonna do is just hard power it down once it's done thinking through, and uh, we'll pull the logic board out of it and I'll kind of show you how I typically deal with it and what I've had best results with as far as like a Hail Mary. I mean, I wouldn't recommend necessarily doing this to your computer uh, unless you are totally okay with making it way worse um, because doing what I'm about to do to this could make the Intel graphics stop working completely and render your computer uh, worthless, completely worthless. So I'm going to flip it over, get the back panel off, and I will show you what's up. So here we are with the logic board out of the chassis. Uh, if you'd like a step-by-step -step teardown, uh, go to iFixit. Uh, they have the best teardowns, and there's really no reason for me to duplicate efforts. Um, but yeah, that's the chassis without the board. It actually has a replacement aftermarket battery in it already, which is kind of neat. Um, and then here are the com main components we ripped out. The fans are first. Uh, we've got a little shield back there, which just covers the connector for the keyboard. Got our eight gigabytes of DDR2, I think, RAM, the fans, the heat spreader, heat pipe, and heat sinks for the GPU and CPU. We have the speaker for the left side of the Mac, which we have to take out to bake, because that will not survive the heat. And then we have our logic board. And there is our problematic NVIDIA GPU. Somebody's actually been in here before. This thermal paste is not factory applied. Hopefully it's non-conductive because they did a shit job of actually putting it on. So I just have the oven preheated at 425. And um, what I'm going to do now is make probably four little tinfoil stands and then put this on a baking sheet and shove it in the oven for seven minutes. Then after seven minutes, I'm going to cut the oven's heat and open the door just a little bit and let it slowly cool down for about another seven minutes. Then I'll take it back down here, put some new thermal paste on it, reassemble it, and we will try Cinebench again. Well, sorry about the dishwasher noise. I didn't think that one through timing-wise. But the oven's at 425 degrees. We're just going to go ahead and pop this thing in there very carefully on four very small tinfoil blocks that you'll have to shape and make for it. All right, now we count down seven minutes. Okay. So the board is done. It's still extremely hot, but the aluminum baking sheet cooled off a little quicker. So I'm gonna let it cool down. Then I'm gonna apply some new thermal paste. Arctic Silver 5 is my paste of choice. Cross all three dies. Put the hardware heat sinks back on and then assemble in the reverse of the disassembly order. Again, refer to iFixit for teardown guides for the assembly and um, disassembly. One thing I will say, don't forget to put the speaker on first. That is important, and I've missed it before, and it requires a complete teardown to put back in. So, something to be wary of. Well, here she is. 
Um, it did actually seem to work. The thing now boots into dedicated graphics without an issue. And as you'll see when I open and run Cinebench, we're actually getting something now, which is pretty impressive on the OpenGL test. It's not great performance, but again, this is a 10-year-old laptop, so I'm not expecting the world out of it. <laughs> but there you go. The oven has fixed another MacBook. This time in NVIDIA. I really thought these were going to be ATI, but apparently that was 2011. So, who knows. But there you go. Good old oven trick. Just make sure you do 425 instead of 350, because apparently that extra bit of temperature really makes all the difference for solder beads. So... There you go. All right.